If you find yourself bugging out somewhere or even just camping for a weekend, being able to store your food out of reach of the animals in the environment is going to save you a lot of trouble. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily hang a pot even if you don't have a center lever. I'm Clarice, you're on the Live Ready channel. Now this is a neat little campsite trick because not only does it keep your food out of reach of the animals, it can also move your pots out of the way so that you have more space on your cooking fire um, to cook other things or to boil water after you've been cooking. It can also help you to move pots or hot objects out of reach of children. So this pot doesn't actually have a center lever like a lot of our pots do. So it presents a bit of a problem if I want to hang it. So I'm going to show you a nice way that you can actually hang pots or any round objects um, that don't have a center lever for you to hang. Now if we want to store food in the wild, the best is for us to hang it at least 50 meters away from our campsite. Because even if I manage to hang this pot in a tree, any animal that is in the environment that smells my food is going to use my platform here or my shelter to try and reach my food. And the last thing I want is to hang it on a game trail that is right on the path where all of the animals are going to come across my food source. The best part is this will only take you about a minute to do and you can hang it as far away or as near your campsite as you like. Now obviously this is not going to go in the fire as it is because the rope crosses underneath the pot. So hanging it over a fire is just going to destroy your rope. Alright, so let's get to how this is done. And I still haven't built a ladder here. Find a nice shady spot, that's the first thing you want to do. And then the second thing is you want to get yourself a nice length of rope that you can wrap around your pot a couple of times. And from my undoing it, you'll be able to tell just how easy it is. This is a carabiner. I like these little crag hoppers ones. Um, they're not for climbing, but they're great for hanging your gear and clipping everything together. And you can see how easily that all comes apart. So what this is, is basically just a length of rope that I've joined the two ends with a triple fisherman's knot. There are many ways that you can do this. You can also check out my video on campsite knots where I show how to do that. But any way to join the two ends of your rope is fine. Then you're going to lay it down in front of you and pull the far side in towards you. So you've got a V shape now. Then you just twist this inner part. That will give you a bite over there. Now you're going to place your pot on top of a cross. You take the part where you've joined the two ropes. Weave it in between there, leaving yourself two flanges on the side. Now you pass this long part over and around the two flanges. Now you can simply take the two flanges and grab that long part through the flanges and dress your knot. And that's it. Because this pot has the two ears on the side, I like to pass that through the two ears and then it's just simply dressing it. And that's how it works. And because this pot's empty, I can show you the underside. You see there's a cross there. And you can dress it a little bit and make sure that your cross stays in the bottom. And you can even take a little length of rope or make a knot there to make sure that that doesn't move at all. And then I simply go and I clip a carabiner onto it, which I can now hang just about anywhere I please. So that's the easy part done and dusted. Now all I've got to do is find a tree to hang my pot from. And if it's empty, I can hang it underneath my shelter or on the beams around my shelter. Okay, so to safely store this away from animals, I've got to leave my campsite and travel a distance away so that whatever animals come past my camp don't use my platform to get to my food. Um, it also means that the animals aren't going to travel straight to my campsite. To keep it realistic, I'm going to weigh this down with my canteen. And this happens to be one of few trees in the area that actually has a lower hanging sideways branch. I've got this length of rope. I really hope it's long enough because I was expecting more trees with lower hanging branches in the area. What I'm going to do is once again, tie an end of the line bow line in here. So 
So instead of using a rock, I've tied my rope to a stick. What I'm going to do to get it over there is I'm going to step on the free end, give myself some good room to get it over, maybe move back a little bit more. And then just javelin it over there. Yes. Okay, so now my end of the line bowline can be used for me to clip my pot onto and then I can simply just pull it up and how high you pull it up and how far away from the tree trunk you pull it is going to depend on the animals in the environment um, I don't have a lot of sideways branches here um, so it's kind of difficult for me to find a branch that's going to be strong enough to hold like a huge weight so you can see I'm sort of nursing this up here now to tie my pot, I don't actually want to tie it to the same tree as the pot is hanging on because any animal that climbs up this tree might actually loosen my line or fiddle with it or try and hang on it. We've got baboons here, they'll hang on anything. So I'm going to tie my line to that tree over there instead of this one because that's a bit safer. But what I prefer to do is a constrictor knot because it is a knot that just simply it doesn't come loose and I'll make it a constrictor slip so it's easy to get out. To tie a constrictor knot around the tree I've come around the tree once, I go around again and over my original line, making a cross over here and then I can lift that cross and just put a slip through it. Just pressing it a bit. And the pressure on this line is going to keep my line from coming out here. Then to make sure it stays, you can just put a nice big toggle in it. Well that's it guys, my pot's now hanging where I can keep a close eye on it without luring all of the animals to my campsite. Leave a comment below, let me know where you're watching from. Until the next time, live ready. Here we go. Okay, try again. Like I said, just javelin it over there. Tie the stick to it because there are no stones in this forest. You don't always get it over the first time, but you can just javelin it over. Ah, oh. try again.